what's going on everybody this is day two we're at the Jamestown settlement in Williamsburg Virginia there's all the state flags Tennessee's right there it's all kind of limpy this is a cool fountain Let's see what it says A fair wind. That's really cool. On in twenty forty seven on Jamestown Day for the four hundred and fiftieth anniversary of Jamestown. Oh that's cool. It's so a time capsule, Mom. So we just came out of the museum behind us. You can't video or photograph in there, so. Can I say hi? Hi, say hi. Hi. Look, it's glowing. Now we're headed to, what is it? Um, well, we're right here. So we can go boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, see that? There's a sign right here. It's a like Ford Rock, Ford, Ford Walk, and past that town. Yeah. Not even All right, we'll go back in a little bit. So in front of us is the town where Pocahontas is from, correct? Or the Indian village. Pocahontas. Uh uh, I don't mess with this. The cannon. But uh, this is the village that Pocahontas was from. I think it's the, totem poles. The Powhatan. 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 Would you go get a speech thing real quick? No, <laughs> just I just know that from Wednesday. All right, I'll bring you back when we get into the village itself. Based off of the closest uh, Powhatan town site to the English fort at the time. Uh, when the English are arriving, uh, they say that the chief of this town uh, and tribe, because this is a chiefdom, so it's not just one tribe that makes up the Powhatan, uh, they say that his name is Wawenchapunk. And Wawenchapunk has a wife that the English document her as having a feather cape as well. Uh, but hers is made entirely from those bright iridescent blue feathers from the wings of ducks. If you know anything about ducks, those feathers are much smaller uh, and they are going to require, at that point, literally thousands of those feathers uh, to create a full size cape or mantle like we're talking So that is. Really cool. Yeah, really that cool. Is, uh, we actually get some history and how things were done back then. So where uh, regular palatin people, you know, turkey feathers are much larger, much, much larger. So, you know, it's not going to require nearly as much of the material. It's not going to be as warm, no. But it's a big flex that you're trying to show off what you can do. I love it when uh, they have the people telling you about the history and telling you about the different things. Uh, 
This is really cool. No. Film. Sorry, you can cut it. Look, here's a sample of the garden a bit. Another hut inside. I would pronounce the ordinary Yonkas. I don't think they had concrete floors back then, though. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, walking down here to the ships that they would have came in on. The first settlers here in Williamsburg. of the three ships carrying 71 men and boys from England to Jamestown over a 144 day trip. Wow, 71 people. You want to be in there? No. That long? <laughs> no. Wow. Here's the Yeah. I think we're going to walk down there and go look at it. on deck this is where you find him and then this is where one of the ship's officers would be to help keep an eye on things okay. so we are at the back we are at the stern so if you look forward you do have a pretty clear view of basically everything that would be happening on or off of the ship from this point so good hmm. place to have the decision makers yes so you can see everything that's going on and then those will be captain and officers quarters immediately underneath us here This is the mom. I don't know if you heard her, but this is the captain's quarters. So there's the captain's quarters. Right under where I just was. So yeah. That's, this is the big ship. Sixty-five people were all under Yeah, they'd have to be. Okay. Now we're walking into original Fort Jamestown, Fort James. Where's the chicken? <sighs> and I'm taking there was no six foot dudes. No six foot dudes back then.
Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's the armor, I guess. Yeah. Man, it looks about as comfortable as one we had last night. It consisted primarily of single <laughs> men and a few women and children. There you go. Wow. So here's a blacksmith set up. Here's your forge. And all the anvils and stuff that they had to make iron parts. There's a sharpening wheel right over here. Hand crank sharpening wheel right there. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm not going to show you all the buildings or take you through everything. <clears throat> Because I feel like you need to come to Williamsburg and experience Jamestown yourself. It's really neat. Really, really neat. If you're fascinated with history like I am, it's, it's a cool thing to see. Um, but we will go into church that they had back then. Let's step in the church. Lit by candle and pews. Simple wood pews. So, this is a storehouse where you supplied your fur, keep your food storage. Yep. Wow. Oh, look up above you, Chloe. All right, I'm gonna wrap up the video from Jamestown uh, right here. Hope you enjoyed it. You need to bring your family, you need to bring the kids so they can figure out what this is all about. It's really interesting. It's been a few years since I've been here. We figured it out, it's actually been 40 something years since I've been here. I don't feel that old. But anyway, um, next one I'll bring to you. We're gonna go to Yorktown, we gotta go to um, Colonial Williamsburg we'll bring you that and hope you're enjoying all the videos from Williamsburg itself and the trip to Williamsburg and uh, we will see you on the next one like I said I don't remember which one's next she's doing them in order so it makes sense so from Jamestown to everybody be prepared <laughs>